I asked a few of my friends to kind of share their experiences, so I am excited to share those, and here they are. Gentle. Uneasy. Worrying. Annoying. Grateful. Hard. <laughs> Disappointed. 感动. So grateful. Restless. 困难. Confusing. Resilience. Return. Blessed. 感恩. Finish. Bad. Precious. Scared. Grateful. Happy. 幸福. Grateful. <laughs> Good. Happy. 加油. 我刚刚听到疫情的时候非常恐慌几乎每很多道路都封锁了我觉得我只需要待在家里就可以保护家人也珍惜身边的每一个人 My name is Ayumi, I'm 11 years old and I live in Qingdao um, Well, there's less people out um, We have to now do home learning and we've got to wear masks every single time we've got to go out What's been hard about it is that I have to do home learning I don't really like home learning and every time I go out, I have to wear a mask, and I don't like masks either. I'm usually inside, and I'm usually on a computer, and we don't go outside as much. Well, I get more playdates with my friends. I like staying at home. If there was one way everything would be perfect is if I could... If all my friends came to my house, I would to blend in they are not allowed to, but once we snuck Peppy in, she's my friend, we snuck her in for a sleepover and then we did it again and again. If you had to use three words to describe how this coronavirus thing has been for you, what three words would you use? Hi, my name is Jessica. This is our first year in Qingdao. Um, it's been interesting being here during coronavirus and seeing how things have changed and how um, our lives have changed because of it. It's just small things like from the gates to our compound being closed to now having to have a health card to get anywhere to getting our temperatures checked. I think recently the biggest thing that has changed for us, which has been hard, is that there has been um, a little bit of, of racial profiling going on. Um, so anybody who looks foreign um, has to have a health certificate on them to show that they've either been in country or that they have um, done their quarantine since they've been back. Um, so yesterday, for example, at the climbing gym, 
um, we were starting to climb and then the building management people came in and looked at my husband who's Japanese and said okay we need a health certificate and at the restaurant we went to afterward the same thing kind of happened so those kind of things have been um, not so fun and a little bit difficult and um, yeah you do feel like you've got a little bit of a target on your back on the other side of that the people in my compound have been so amazing. The guards at our compound that check our temperatures love our children so much. They laugh and smile every time they come in to check the temps. People have been um, in our compound have been so sweet and so kind and also seem to be frustrated by this whole situation. If I had to sum these days up in three words, I would say resilience, hard, and grateful. Resilience because this has taken more of a mental toll than I thought it would. It's been very difficult to stay positive in all of this. Um, hard because it is just very, very difficult to do this, um, to do home learning while we're teaching at home with our kids as well. And grateful because I've met some amazing people through this time. People have shown us great kindness during this time and we've been able to get to some deeper levels of friendship within our family and with our kids. So that's how I'd sum it up. Hello, I'm Sushi. This is my kid, Jinqing. We live in Qingdao. This is a really long spring festival for us, and it's so, so special. At the beginning, we didn't realize the virus is so serious. And after we, we, we knew it, we stay at home, didn't go to any places. Thanks to the Online shopping, we 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 can purchase we we can purchase the necessaries online, and uh, the it, it delivered uh, very quickly. In this uh, spring festival, uh, how to, uh, if if to uh, collect uh, two word, I wanna say the first one is grateful. Thanks to my mom. She made a lot of delicious food for us, and thanks to the government, they really try a lot to control this virus. The second one I want to say is precious. I have so precious time with my families, and uh, my dad taught me and Jinqing some uh, some some revolutionary song. Now Jinqing will sing the revolutionary song for you. I'm Peter Huang, Korean. I have lived in China for 23 years. I export imitation jewelry to US. Uh, but these days, my business is going very slow. I feel sad. Mm. Um, most of my friends, they had tough time since coronavirus outbreak. We worried a lot when it can finish and return back to normal, fri uh, normal, normal life. And I stayed at home almost uh, 40 days since Chinese New Year. They blocked our village gate and checking out uh, when you go out. So they controlled very strictly. So I thought uh, socialism is effective for coronavirus control. Uh, even though you feel, we feel no more freedom and inconvenient. Mm, but yesterday I, I met uh, my friends and ate lunch at a small restaurant. Uh, but we cannot sit together. Uh, sit separately in two tables. Yeah, it's, it's funny. And one more thing is, uh, Korean government uh, gave us four pieces of uh, face mask to, uh, two weeks ago. So that time I feel, yeah, I, I'm I'm still Korean, not Chinese. 
So I hope all of the world peoples of come this uh, disaster. Uh, hope see you guys soon and stay healthy and yeah, stay healthy until we meet again. All right, so the three words that stood out to me, I would say are uh, initially uneasiness and then that turned into restlessness. And, and I'm happy to say that ultimately um, it turned into gratitude. Uneasiness, you know, it, it's, it's just hard to not be in control and to not know what's going on. And initially for us, uh, we really didn't know much of what was going on. We'd hear things in the news, hear things from friends, but we didn't know how bad it was gonna get. We, we didn't know what to expect. And then all of a sudden things were closed down the streets were deserted, it felt like we were in a movie, and, and we didn't know what to do. Over the next couple weeks, the numbers were climbing, it seemed like exponentially. But then what felt like all of a sudden, they started tapering off. And, and, and then really, after uh, you know three, four weeks, there were little to no new cases. It felt like kind of a victory. We felt like you know we're getting out of this thing and we're so excited. But, uh, but then it's still taken a while for things to get back to normal. So that's where the, you know, my, the second word restlessness comes into play because we just, we, we still don't really know when life's gonna feel like normal, when Emery can go back to school, uh, when we can stop wearing masks. Um, so there's still that feeling of restlessness and I imagine that will continue on for a little bit. But ultimately I think uh, that the strongest feeling I have is gratitude. I'm so grateful for the people here in Qingdao and all over China that, that made big sacrifices, uh, you know, sacrificing their time, their biggest holiday of the year, uh, their sanity, sacrificing all of that for the greater good. I don't think we'd be where we are today without all the sacrifices that they made. Sometimes after when I go out to play with my dog outside, I feel like I haven't washed my hands, like, oh my gosh, I haven't washed my hands because I could get the virus from that. And that is a really good way to get the virus. So yeah, I feel really scared, but I also feel kind of happy because it's really nice not being able to go to school. And sometimes I miss my teacher and all those, people but it, I have fun making stuff um, and I always have something to do because my sister's birthday is coming up in two weeks so I, I have enough time to make some party stuff and all that so and I really like spending my time with my sister because it's really nice and and I haven't been able to see her in the last few like um, when, when the virus wasn't there, so I feel really happy. Everything I feel returns to you somehow.